So this week, we are taking over TK Maxx's new store in central London. <sighs> I'm actually sweating. Whoa, what is going on? We are getting access the day before it officially opens. For a shopping experience like no other. Wait, 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 chat, chat, front of me. 30 minute time limit. No budget. PAQ presents 30 minutes max. Welcome back to PAQ. I know it's been three weeks, but we will be resuming on your screens every single Thursday. We always go up to a madness, and if you don't believe me, cue the trailer. Do you like koala bears? Yeah. If you like the trailer, you'll probably like PAQ, so you may as well hit subscribe, get your notification bells on. Every video that we release, we'll choose a random commenter in the first three hours of the video drop in to win a Kyra. Back. Right now, we are on Oxford Street and we are in the new TK Maxx store, but there's plenty stores all around the country where you can find plenty grills. Very excited, um, the launch is tomorrow, but they have given us the lovely new store for us to film this amazing episode. Young exclusive and all that. Bang. And this is where today's challenge is actually going to take place. Well, I'm already quite buzzed because I'm going to be one of the four first people to grab whatever we want off of the rails. I must say, I feel good about this one. Obviously, you man asked for a TK Maxx episode, so we didn't just give you one. I thought I had an angle, but I kind of lost it. We're giving you two. So this one is very simple. We are in TK Maxx. We have 30 minutes. We need to find a full outfit and there is no budget. TK Maxx is great because it's like a PAQ challenge in itself. It is a treasure hunt. You never know what you're going to find, but you're on the journey and hoping that you come out with a win. TK Maxx is all about good value, high quality items for a really affordable price. Are you man ready? Yep. 30 minutes, the whole store. Let's get it cracking. Let's do it. Come on. PAQ, TK Maxx. <laughs> so, to repeat the rules, you have 30 minutes why wow, he looks so nervous. Fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's just so many cameras. He's sweating. Um, we're all sweating, mate. It's hot. You have 30 minutes to be back here with your baskets. <laughs> <laughs> there is no budget. You can use your own underwear, but everything else has to come from here. So, three, two, <laughs> who fired? Nah, who fired, blood? Shut fired, blood. That's you me. Tell that's you me. Look, it's you. Oh, 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 God. Oh, don't. You've got half an hour. You ready? Three, two, one. So the hourglass turned over, and I can't lie, I had something in the corner of my eye. I managed to find this crazy bag from this really sick designer. I've got something that's crazy. Let's try and find stuff to match. So when the challenge started, these guys were like, oh, I'm gonna go straight for the escalators. What the hell? I was in front of Elias, so obviously you're doing that classic thing that you do at school where you just hold up the, uh, the stairs. Hurry up! So I ran the escalators the wrong way, going against the grain. No matter what happens, nothing can keep me down. I will always find a way to come up, and that's exactly what I did. I was like, do you know what? I am gonna think outside the box. Let's go. I'm gonna go. In this lift, I'm going straight upstairs. I'm going to start with my fit. <sighs> oh, All right, West Coast. Third oh, floor. What was that? Oh, spot. How did you get up here so quickly, bro? And that's when I knew that the battle was about to begin. So I only had a short amount of time, so of course I decided to go straight to the gold label section. Straight to the gold label, I can't lie. Lots of luxury high-end designers. It's basically a home for me. Uh, everyone was darting around. I was very composed. I ended up finding quite a few bits. Very jazzy. I didn't even think of a game plan or anything. I probably should have done again, shouldn't I? So I need to start 
taking things out. But right now, I'm just about. So I was looking around, I went to the gold label. Man's going through and I'm trying to find like a whole load of things that I just generally would wear. I was looking about sabotage. <laughs> I literally just took Dexter's trousers. I took Dexter's trousers out of his bag. He didn't even clock. Oh, what the hell, bro, 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 bro? I saw the culprit. Immediately, I knew who it was. <laughs> Get this guy, man. Trousers look better on me, anyways. I'm gonna face this person. <laughs> wait, what did you get? Wait, 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 chat, chat, bro, me, chat, chat. It was like an angry one. It was like a. <laughs> And then Elias runs over, but he's left his bag next to me. I'm so, Danny, you look, did Danny, did you take my I don't have anything apart from a jacket. Who teeth my ting? Someone snitch. Dexter, Dexter, really quickly. So all this stuff's there, don't tell him. Are you boys ready, boys? Yes, they are. The Alliance. What are you looking for? Um, I think I'm looking at shoes quick. I'm gonna step away from them lot in gold label and I'm gonna go and look at footwear. I don't really know the footwear I'm after. It's worth getting a couple options that I like. So winging it in TK Maxx isn't so bad because everything is easily categorized. You've got your shirt section, you've got your trousers section and you've got your shoe section. It's really easy to shop. So who, who's good at it? So I'm asking everyone. I'm asking the director, I'm asking the camera guys. Oh my God. Here's the game plan. I'm gonna go find some shoes and then I'm gonna go downstairs and look for some hats and uh, some accessories. Could not find any boots, but I did find these amazing pink ones though. Ooh. After I had these in black. Oh, bro, how can how can a basket be full and then you come back and it's not there? I'm trying to, I'm low-key winging it, but I know for a fact I want some cool kind of shoes. I'm not gonna lie. This is the challenge. But I'm not continuing the challenge until my is back, so. What was it? A sweater vest, a jacket, a pair of shorts. Come on, where did you put it? There. <laughs> After a bit of a tantrum, I managed to get my stuff back and it was Danny, one new Danny. We have to be a bit more professional. Last time I done khaki, white and burgundy, I'm just gonna go for something that I know, but in some ways, maybe do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go for an all black look. I'm gonna throw in a whole load of all black things that I like. Oh look, <laughs> I'll give you a clue to who I am. All I care about is space. What am I looking for? And I get a shape up every episode. Um, and I have a tinfoil tooth. Um, Animal print is life because E equals MC squared. I need to keep it moving. Oh, but saying that, I feel like you can't ever have enough option. <laughs> Shoo. Astro. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Trying to find that statement piece. Haven't you got a jacket, Danny? Yeah, I've got two, but I just need to weigh up options because your jackets are like your main kind of piece, aren't they? I got a bit complacent with time, thinking that 30 minutes was a long time. So you're looking for your third jacket and you haven't got any trousers? It's amazing to have such good like choice, but at the same time, when you're on a time limit, you have to get one outfit, you're spoiled for choice. Kind of sick. Very sick. Why don't you put it in your basket then? Gifts and butts with candy and nuts, we'd all have a very Merry Christmas, wouldn't we, Jake? Ooh, calm, white tee. And again, my favourite designer. I just thought no budget and that I could just go wild. <laughs> There's a rail of like gold label shoes. Kind of odd. What are they going with there? They're black and white, Jay. Could they go with bloody anything I want? I think that's why I tried to keep my colour palette kind of turned down. There's a mod box section over there, so I'm gonna go check that out now. It's a bit more of a youthful fashion forward section, and I've got some really nice options. Oh, you know Could do it. Everything was laid out really nicely, so you don't have to scramble around looking underneath stuff for it apart to try and find your size. It is just all there. This is actually pretty incredible. You can feel your fourth jacket. Oh, Jake, stop judging me based on how many jackets I pick up. We got 11 minutes left. I was kind of overwhelmed. Oh, I don't even know what I've got even deep down here. It's so far down. I'm just gonna go with it, let's go. <laughs> I was like, rah, there's so much stuff here. I don't know what I'm doing here. I've got more than one outfit. I've got too much option. And I'm going the wrong way. Oh, everyone's like, what, 10 minutes left, 10 minutes left? And I was like, oh, sound, I'm sorted, like, 10 minutes left. I think I'm done. Shit, I could probably choose you now, but there's a lot, there's a lot of decent stuff here. So I just had a leisurely stroll around, had a look at all the looks and crannies, everything uh, TK Maxx has to offer. Ooh, let me get these socks. 
Happy Pride Month, guys. I'm gonna look for shirts and polos. All right, so I've got like this option, a white one, and a plain black one. I'm in the women's section. Managed to find an amazing pair of shorts from a really sick designer. Oh, I need to get a belt, just in case my stuff doesn't fit. So then I had to run all the way back up three, four floors and get myself a belt. Oh yeah, let's get belts. Okay, this is this one gonna fit? This is kind of cool. Yeah, that snake belt's hard. In and out. Okay, on that note, I need to actually keep it moving. Forget all of these, these guys. I've got a whole bunch of clothes right now. I'm actually feeling kind of good. Ooh, a hat. You could tell how much we were running around and how big the store is, because when I ran past Shaq, I had a whiff to satin, satin mad. Someone smells like sweat, that's what I got to say. Oh yeah, I got mad sweaty, bro. It was actually peak. What we're gonna do now is, we're going downstairs, we're gonna find some products that I can use some um, deodorant, because all that running around has made me awfully sweaty. Whoa, what is going on? <sighs> I'm actually sweating, I think I stink. Like, we were actually just so deep in the challenge that we were perspirating. Quite profusely. <laughs> Danny, you got five minutes. Ah, five minutes. I wish we had had more. Less? More. I wish we had more. Come on, come on, come on, keep up. I've got five minutes to be downstairs, you know. I'm kind of taking my time a little bit. I keep going the wrong bloody way. These escalators have got me baffled. I'm going to go right back to the bottom floor. I'm going to get one of the bags from downstairs. Do I want to rush? Nah. Time was running out. I was sweating. Everyone was running around. It was completely manic. Oh, who took my basket now? The time was running out. I was panicking because I had too much stuff. I've got four minutes to be downstairs. And right now I'm looking at a pair of smart shoes just as a backup. Time was not on my side. I start looking at some rings, some necklaces. Thank you. Also some sunglasses as well. <laughs> Where's the other side to this? I'm taking them with me. Actually, can I try? Can I actually try that one instead? I definitely made it down in time. Me and Danny were there watching the time slip away. Should I take the lift? Yeah, I'm gonna take the lift. Can I try the? Can I get the pole? Oh. I don't even know where my fingers. Come on, come, 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 come. I don't know why. <laughs> no, no. Three. I was running. I felt like you saying bolt, low key. I'm not gonna lie, man's quick. <laughs> So Alizé, thank you so much for coming down and judging this episode today. How are you doing? You look pretty cozy. Thank you, cozyboys.com. Hi, I'm Alizé. I'm a stylist, curator and shop owner now. I'm here to judge the boys on their fits from TK Maxx. All right, boys, I'm really excited to see what you've got to offer today, Dexter. Yep. It's your time. Let's go. Dexter! Yo! Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Well, come, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ooh, very nice. Are those the ones that I picked? When Dexter came out, yeah, I was like, are you going to work? What's happening? I think we were all thinking it was Shaq, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> are you dressed as Shaq? These are the ones you took. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Isn't it? Am I inspiring the youth? Don't but you're not like the master of it. I'm the god of it. I don't need to be the master no more. Did you win that episode? I, what, what, the black? The one that I judged, because I'm the god of black. I don't think you did. You, you know went there. You know what? You You're literally just out. went He's there. He's pulling out I'm the beast. I'm backing myself. They're the... walking away, bro. <laughs> You're boring them, fam. Last time we done the challenge, I tried to step outside of my comfort zone. 
yeah, I don't really bang. So I decided I'm gonna stick to something I know, but I'm gonna do something a little different. Instead of going for more of a street weather, I'm gonna go a bit more classy, you know what I mean? I know there was jokes saying he was paying homage to me, but no, that was, that's all Dexter, man. I looked at that outfit and I was like, that's 100% Dexter. The reason why I have the bag is because I usually go for backpacks, but because I was like, I'm gonna do a different look, I still wanted to involve Don't the bag. lie. It's because you've never secured one before. This is the closest you're gonna get, innit? <laughs> Yo, he is such a hater. Let's see what's under the jacket. Just the polo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never really see Dexter in polo shirts, so it was nice to see him with something a bit different. You look like my flatmate a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> I think it looks absolutely sick, bro. I love when you take your black aesthetic and you switch it up, bro. And I think it really complements your hair because your hair is like pink. I, like, I really like it. All in all, like as a look, he just pulled it off really well. I think you look so sick. I think the coated denim is such a look. The belt, I like how you tucked it in as well. Cute little bag to match as well. I love the silver accents. I love his new hair. I think he looks fire with that. But the bag, I just had a real issue with. I can't lie, the bag is not a thing, man. So for that, I had to give him a nil point. I can't get with the bag, though. Yeah, just, I just don't understand the narrative in this situation. Mocker in one hand, you know what I mean? Laptop bag in the other. I don't see you going to the coffee shop in your beautiful trousers to bust out a laptop out of that bag. Thank you, Dexter. That was amazing. Shaq, let's go. Sit. Can't remember him picking that bag. Yeah. I can remember picking it. Are you sure? He came out in it before me. Yeah. I think that was my bag. We have the same bag and trousers. Can I have to reuse it? We'll just reuse it. <laughs> I got this nice blazer. Then I got this top as well. The material's sick. I have no idea what material it is, but it actually feels fire. One thing I really did like about Shaq's outfit is the blazer and the way he played with the material of the t-shirt underneath. I decided to get some decent smart trousers that were also kind of casual, so they're kind of like jogging bottoms. And I thought it can never go wrong with socks and sandals. I do love a good sock and sandal. I know a lot of people don't. Yeah. It's Pride Month, so I got some Pride socks that are poorly Poorly rolled up. And then for accessories, I got a nice pearl necklace. I think pearls on men are actually quite sick, but I know a lot of people are sleeping on it, a lot of people feel uncomfortable by it. The highlight of the pearls, I think it's obviously not something that you usually see on a man. A proper like nod to prints on that one. I also picked this bag. I'm sorry, mate, I had to borrow your one because <laughs> someone didn't pack my one, but I know me and Danny picked the same bag. All in all, it was just like a casual, simple look. He's coming to meet me with his laptop and he's gonna get. Stop <laughs> pushing this agenda. <laughs> <laughs> He still looks professional. He looked like a businessman. He knows he's going on a business trip, so he wants to be comfortable. I love it. This is like the modern day businessman kind of look. The shirt is a mad material. Bag and trousers, obviously. Pretty hard, aren't they? The blazer is so sick. It's cut really well, and also what I like about it is the weight of it. It doesn't flap, it just sits really nicely. It's a very mature fit. I'm gonna talk about the pearls. I think that's such a flex, bro. Overall, I must say, very strong look, and he's done it again. I think he proper smashed it out of the park for me. What do you think I'm gonna say? Trash! <laughs> Trash! No, I, I was actually gonna give you a five out of five. Jeez! Like, I can't believe you've done this in half an hour. I just love the tones, like how you've managed to match the top, even though it's two different textures, bangs. Well, well done, Chuck. Up next, Elias, make Let's some go. magic. <laughs> <laughs> This, I love this is guy. my fit. I love this guy. <laughs> oh, this guy. It's kind of like, what? 
A leather jacket from one of my favorite designers. This New York bag from a Paris designer. And I wanted the actual hoodie um, of this print and it's basically been knocked off from the like, souvenir shops. And then the t-shirt is also from the same brand as the jacket. The shorts I thought were really sick because they had like, these kind of collage print that worked really well with the, the other colors. The shoes are just some nice clean canvas things, white socks. A little bit of bling from TK Maxx as well. Yeah, I'm happy with my fit, you know what I'm saying? I'm colorful and bright and continuing to be extra every day. At the end of the day, one thing I do rate about him is that he doesn't compromise for no Body. But there's a fine artistry in that and I respect him for that. Didn't like the outfit though, but still. The only thing I don't like is the jacket. It's like Dennis the Menace's hype beast cousin kind of thing. Astro boy, dressed like a 13 year old kid. The shorts suit you so well. The t-shirt just works, it pulls everything together. It's not for me, but I know I know it, it, it's for you. I like, I do like the bag. I think I think the bag is kind of oh, cool. So you actually mom, do you like the bag? <laughs> yeah, no, do you know why I like the bag? Because my mum 100% will wear something like that. <laughs> no, no. You go for fashion faux pas. That's what I noticed about you. Like, I think the fact you stand for that is actually pretty sick. Jacket with shorts, but it's like, I, I still think it kind of bangs. Sometimes you don't know what the hell is going on. I ain't gonna front, but I like that. I'm like, mom, you either love me or hate me. I feel like you pick individually items that are quite sick. Like, I love the jacket, I love the t-shirt, I love the shorts, I love the bag even, actually. Like, I can see, like, from here, like, I can really see Elias. Then from here, I'm really confused. As individual items, he proper, like, smashed it. As a combination, though, it was lacking for me. He's literally a fashion full pop. He's a f Genius, bro. He's literally dressed like a kid. I rate it, but it works on you. He customized it with a luxury designer bag, whereas usually I'd see the outfit with like scabby knees, snotty nose, maybe crying, chasing a football or something like that. Thank you, Elio. Last but not least, Danny. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bag. <laughs> <laughs> that time Father Such Christmas dressed up for GQ. <laughs> cool, Santa does GQ, nice. Essentially, it is a kind of mismatch of a few things. Other than that, the rest of the outfit's very like rockabilly kind of inspired. They're not creepers, but the black and white shoes. Big oversized like teddy boy kind of coat. Yeah. I just I saw this and I loved it. Trousers, same as Shaq's lol, F on F on first. So great minds think I like. The bag, it is a lovely bag and I just couldn't resist. Yeah, I want to see What's the face. So basically, it's oh, a... Yeah. Let me see. Ooh. Then he had the beautiful collarless under jacket with the gold buttons, which I just thought was beautiful. Bro! I was going to pick that up, but I didn't. Oh my <laughs> God, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> of course, a tartan jacket, Danny Lomas special, but you look sick. You know what, it's nice to see another alternative of a vest instead of this whole like utility vest all the time. It gives a way more like formal, sleek approach rather than the typical fisherman's vest or X, Y, Z, you know? I looked at the shoe, I picked them up, but I put them down again as well. Yeah. No, usually you would. I'd usually be the same, but I was like, you know what, I never go for like a lace up because obviously I'm a, I'm a predominant love kind of guy and if it's not love, it'd be Chelsea boots. I was like, you know what, go for a bit of a, a bit of an Oxford. If... No, they're sick. I think, I think my granddad used to wear shoes like that as well. Black and white smart shoes are always really interesting because sometimes they can look really like try hard trash. But in this approach, it actually really works, so. I like the shoes, very classic. For a loafer man as well, like, the switch up is there. I like how you've played with the colours as well, even though, obviously, it's a lot of the outfit is monochrome. I really, really love it. I feel like you've got a few different outfits on, so you could take off the coat and then just wear the under jacket, or you can, like, have it just on, on your shoulder. The detail on the shoulder of this coat, it's got, like, a double seam that so comes, like, another patch, which is really beautiful. And then the detail, on the inside jacket of the gold button is really beautiful and then that lovely like collar. I love it so much. Congratulations, Danny. I need the moment to mull over my decisions. Quite tough actually. Four fire fits. Who will it be? Da -da -da -da. 
right, I've had some time to think. And the winner is, yeah, only because I think it's slightly more, like, season appropriate. <laughs> it's Shaq. Oh, fuck. So you'd never expect to find some pieces like this in a high street store. It's nuts. And I think that's why like all of us lads have all been shopping at TK Maxx since way before PAQ. For your opportunity to win a shopping experience in the new TK Maxx store that's open in Oxford Street with one of us guys from PAQ, comment below who you think should have won. Us man have curated a selection of looks on the TK Maxx website. Make sure you guys click on the link in the comment section. There'll be a pinned comment below. Click that link there. You can go find what we've picked out and, you know, shop and enjoy.